Hi everybody, in the latest update for PlayStation Xbox, I think it's been around for PC as well, um, PUBG have added a network diagnostic uh, option in the settings. And what happens if you turn this on, you'll get some information on your game screen in the top left hand corner that are giving you some background info about how the game is responding with PUBG's main servers. And you can probably just about see it in the top left hand corner now. And what I'll do is I'll I'll uh, magnify that so you can see it properly. And you won't, may well be thinking, well, you know, what am I seeing here? What am I seeing? So if you kind of kind of read what it says, you'll see that it says ping, and then there's um, kilobytes up and kilobytes down, packets and then packet loss. So in this video we're just going to talk about what this means and then how that will affect the game and how you could perhaps improve these uh, figures to make your PUBG gaming experience a little bit better. So the first thing, ping. As you can see on my screen it's going between about 10 to 30 milliseconds and ping is the time it takes the data um, to get from your console to the PUBG dedicated servers that run PUBG and then back to you. Um, so the lower this number in milliseconds, <laughs> the better. And generally in multiplayer terms, um, anything below 100 is okay. Anything below 50 is pretty good. And when you start getting below 30, that, that, that's, that's really good. And if you get below 10 millisecond ping, then that's really good. You know, that, that, that's pretty fantastic. And then we've got the kilobytes a second, the KBS little things, and that's just telling you how much data is going up and down from your console to PUBG servers again. Um, and this kind of shows you how little data games like PUBG and multiplayer games actually use. They don't actually use that much data. Um, so even on quite... Um, I don't like to use the word slow internet connections, but low capacity internet connections um, you can still you can still play PUBG. Then we've got the packets per second. Now, if you imagine when you're playing PUBG and you're, like, you're getting your rifle out and you're running, your console, your PlayStation, your Xbox, or your PC, has to send that information over the internet to the PUBG servers. Say, say I'm in Britain. Well, I am in Britain on the south coast. The PUBG dedicated servers are in London, and some of them are in Ireland. And so that data has to go from my console and go there. But it, it's not like a constant stream of data, you know, like an open phone line. What it does is it chops all that information up into little lump, little bits and fires them across the internet and they, they whiz off and they're like, like little, imagine little carriages on a big long train that, that are whizzing off. Unfortunately though, that these, these carriages, <laughs> they're not connected. They all go separately. Maybe carriages in a train is a... Is a is a bit of a isn't isn't a, isn't a good uh, good example, but the, the little packets. Imagine um, you went to the post box and you posted like twenty letters one after the other. You know, so they're all they're all going to the same destination, but but they might get picked up at different times by different um, drivers and go go whizzing off. And these packets whiz off to, to PUBG, then PUBG sends them back to you. And what can happen is some of these packets can get lost along the way. Um, and that's where you see the percentage packet loss down below. So, in terms of packet loss, if you were losing data, what would happen is you uh, you would often get things like um, you could get things like rubber banding um, a little bit, or missing bullets, you know, hits from either end, people not hitting you, or or, or or you not hitting other people, because that data that was going to the PUBG server has just got lost somewhere. Like in the post, a letter that's just just got lost lost in the post. Now, often these packets are so such little small little chunks of data that a little bit of packet loss doesn't make that much difference, um, but a lot of packet loss can. So that's kind of what those things are. So how do they affect your gameplay? So as we said with ping, anything below 100 milliseconds is okay. Below 50 is good. Below 30, we're getting pretty good. Below 10 is excellent. If your ping gets too long, in other words, you've got a laggy connection, the latency is too high, what happens is what's happening in the game that you're seeing, you're not seeing it um, quickly. Um, and a good example of that could be, say, when you're behind cover. 
So you're behind cover and it's taking say 300 milliseconds for your data to go from you to the PUBG servers and back again. So you look out from behind cover and you see someone. Maybe you fire a shot and you go back behind cover. Unfortunately because the data is so slow that it's going backwards and forwards that opponent who's across the road from you who saw you pop out he sees you and goes aha and he fires his shot and his shot registers hitting you before um, PUBG servers register you going back behind the rock now at your end this may well look like you've got behind the rock again and you've been shot and you're like wait a minute he's shooting me through cover how can he do that it's because at his end you weren't behind cover when he shot you and that's that's what can happen uh, it could be uh, say when you're aiming at somebody especially if they're in the distance you'll see them skipping across in the distance they'll just be skipping in and you that makes it very difficult to to shoot them so ping high ping and high latency um, isn't a good thing as a th with the data the kilobytes a second stuff doesn't really matter because even fairly low bandwidth connection get away with it um, but as we said packet loss again this is a bad thing as well if you have lots of packet loss um, that can lead to uh, hits not registering, movements not registering and generally getting frustrated with the game with it being janky and stuff like that. So now let's talk about how you can make things better. Now the first thing I would say <laughs> is that if you want a better experience in multiplayer ga gaming the first thing to do is to always use a wired connection if you can. So get a network cable and run it from your Xbox, from your PlayStation, from your PC, straight into your router. That, that's the best way. That, that will help to reduce stuff. Um, that, that's the first thing you should do. If you can have a wire running, that, that would be really cool. Um, if you can't do that, then the next thing you can do, rather than going wireless, is you can use power line adapters. Now this is what I use. This gameplay you're seeing now, where I'm getting ping from sort of um, about 10 to 30 milliseconds is on a power line power line adapter and about 30 milliseconds is what I tend to see when I do and I, and I don't do loads of testing but when I see testing this is what I see see 30 milliseconds because it's not possible where I have my consoles to run um, a network cable down to where our route where our router comes in I could do but it would take a lot of t pulling out the carpets and doing stuff like that and I'm happy with the performance I get with my power line adapters now if you're saying what's a power line adapter well a power line adapter is you you plug a little box into your power sockets and then a, a network cable goes from your router to the little box and then near where your consoles are you plug another little box into your and into a power socket and a little um, cable little uh, network cable then goes to your console and so the data is traveling through the network um, and coming up and, and uh, th through the um, power cabling in your in your house which is really cool isn't it and, that, and so that that would make it better that way um, if you do have to go wireless however because that's the only option you've got what you can do is you can practice you can change the position of where your router is um, make sure it's not like jammed up against a wall or underneath a table or has a metal ornament you know, all around it. Pull it away. Change the angle of it or, or the aerial that if it's got one, change the angle of it. And then change you know, the angle of your Xbox or your PlayStation. Make sure they're not jammed up against the wall or have got metal things all around that would be blocking the Wi-Fi signal. And that can improve the connectivity and, and help to um, uh, improve your the, the connection between your devices and your router. Um, something that would often helps straight away is just power cycle your router. You know, you might not have turned it on and off again for a long time. Just turn it on and off again. See, see what it does. You might well find things improve incredibly like that. Next thing to do is go into the software on your router and see if it needs updating. Now this will depend on each router but normally somewhere in the menus you'll go in there and it'll say check firmware you can check the firmware and then you can download it and you can bring it up to the to the latest um, the latest version which may improve things with power line adapters as well power cycle them unplug them from the wall reset them and then go through the connection process again and you might find that might improve things check the cables as well have you got anything that's got been damaged um, your network cables you know have you had them for like 15 years and they're you know they could have little breaks in them and things like that change 
that check just unplug things and plug them back in again that old thing that you know from the IT crowd turn it off again unplug it plug it back in again you'd be amazed at the difference it can well make again if you're using power line adapters and then someone for example is using something like a hairdryer <laughs> or a vacuum cleaner on the uh, on this on the same circuit while you're trying to play you're probably going to get a fair bit of packet loss because there's going to be a lot of electrical noise that's coming over the um, coming over the, the the power system and that's going to affect as well so maybe wait and do your gaming later or change to Wi-Fi when you're doing it that way um, the, you probably haven't mentioned about changing your ISP or going to a, um, a, a faster connection and that's because you don't always get better connections by chip by by changing your ISP and going for for more bandwidth because in effect a lot of the time um, wh when you're buying a, an internet uh, service you're in effect you're paying for bandwidth rather than speed and connectivity um, so one of the best things you can do to is you can do a bit of research on the internet look for reviews where people mention what the gaming um, uh, performances of particular ISPs in your area. So in the UK, it tends to be like Virgin, who do the the uh, the broadband in terms of uh, cable broadband, and then you you get BT, who do do cable broadband, um, but they tend to they they can come down the phone lines as well, depending on on where you are. Because when you go from say like I don't know like a 50 megabits or 50 megabytes a second service to 100 megabits a second, all you're paying for is extra capacity the ability to download more at once you're not downloading things faster the data is coming the same speed there's just more of it at once um, and although you would see an import uh, an improvement in your gaming performance if you're say in a, in a house where lots of people are downloading stuff um, you know streaming Netflix downloading videos watching YouTube and all that sort of stuff if, if you're doing that then you'll see an improvement you'll probably get less packet loss because there'll be less congestion but as you can see PUBG doesn't use that much data so it's not that necessary to have a massively big massively wide um, broadband deal um, and sometimes you'll see that people uh, will, will say that they've paid for um, more uh, faster broadband with these you know bigger um, deals but in fact their ping gets worse their packet loss gets worse because there's lots of other things that can affect it that are outside of your control, that are outside of the hardware that you have, and more to do with the hardware that the ISP has. But don't let this put you all off. You know, if you want a better gaming experience for playing uh, PUBG um, and to get a better sort of network, the, the real, you know, the most important thing is going to a wired connection. If you can't go to a wired connection, go to a power line adapter try cycling your um, router power cycling make sure it's on the latest firmware oh one thing I didn't mention as well is if you've had the router for 15 years maybe it's time to think about getting a new <laughs> you know a more modern router as well and do that you know and finding you know check your cables and make sure all the connections are good okay hopefully that kind of explains what the network diagnostic um, menu and the things mean in PUBG and hopefully there's a few ideas for maybe how you can improve and you may well see a difference you tend to see difference in terms of when you're getting in gunfight automatic gunfights with, with automatic fire and you might find you win more gunfights than than uh, than you did before if you manage to improve your ping from say something like 150 down to something like 30 you will definitely see a difference that way when you're going from like 50 to 30 or 30 to 20 or 30 to 10 you don't i don't think you see that much difference at all um, but anyway that's enough from me hope you found this video useful if you've got any questions put them in the comments down below if you enjoyed the video like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe thank you very much and i will see you again soon